Hello and good Friday morning, everyone. Hey, head over to Hutch's Weather on your YouTube channel. Make sure you subscribe right there. I'd love to have you watch me in 1080i on your big screen television. Hey, Friday morning forecast for storms later. Details and what you need to know as we close out this work week. Coming up right now on Hutch's Weather. Now, a Hutch's Weather update with Chief Meteorologist Hutch Johnson. Brought to you by Robert Gibb and Sons. We're going to get started with the first thing. Oh, we're going to have exiting storms off to the east. They could be windy right into central parts of Minnesota going towards daybreak. But for most of us here in North Dakota, the strongest of the storms will be on their way out. Now, as we head towards your drive to work, could be some festering storms out there, kind of fidgeting and festering like an old corn between your toes. But... Bemidji all the way up towards the International Falls in the Rainy Lake area, seeing a chance for some storms to start out your Friday morning. Then we're going to see some festering storms on the backside. They could be strong, a little bit of hail and gusty winds here and there. As we go through the day, it will be cool up north, but down south of this line here, including Fargo, temperatures near 90 on the docket once again. A hot afternoon, that's going to fuel afternoon development. In the eastern third of North Dakota is where those storms start, and they will make their way through the Fargo area, Grand Forks area, as we go into our evening hours. So all of us here in eastern North Dakota and western Minnesota will have a chance between the hours of 5 and 10 o'clock at seeing some scattered showers and storms, hail, damaging straight line winds, isolated tornado can't be ruled out, but the risk is going to be a little lower according to the latest update from the Storm Prediction Center than we were thinking a little earlier in the week. Nonetheless, look at this, heading into the nighttime hours, storms racing through We Pass Ranch out there as we go towards Walker and out towards Bemidji. These storms arrive near the 10 o'clock hour. After 10 o'clock, it looks like we can quiet down substantially as these storms are out of here. We're going to have a westerly wind into the weekend that'll be breezy at times, but a lot more comfort in your weekend forecast. This is what it looks like. Seven-day planner brought to you by my friends at Eventide. Say, great place to work, wonderful place to live. Call them up, hutched in, ask for a tour. Whether you're looking for independent living, assisted living, or memory care, well, let them know Hutch sent you, and they'll show you around. Okay, today's chance of severe weather has Hutch's hunch out there with that asterisk showing that we have some weather concerns out there, particularly for those of you who want a vacation a little early on this weekend out at the Lakes Country. Stay informed. Patchy morning fog Saturday, temperatures hovering around 80 for your weekend with a breezy westerly wind. Passing showers can't be ruled out Monday, but overall our pattern into next week looks dry. No ag producers will be happy about that. And indeed, a chance for some cooler weather being in from Canada as we go through midweek. That's your forecast. Remember to check Hutchesweather.com for the latest updates right here. And thanks so very much to all my fine sponsors on Hutchesweather.com, making everything on this site possible for you, including you making these possible for all of us by sharing your content by uploading your videos and photos of weather in your area. Thanks so much. Have a wonderful Friday. I'll keep you posted on the late day chance of severe right here on Hutch's Weather. For now, have a great day.